no volunteer. <laughs> I'm there for next time. Yeah. You don't have to volunteer. I'll volunteer. <laughs> yeah. So do you need to plug anything in to get this? Um... <coughs> I was talking to somebody earlier tonight who said um, that lady over there. Uh, 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 yeah, and, and so the, I said, you know that lady over there is fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this person also said. No, that, that lady's really not 14. I said, she really is. And am I right in thinking, around about July this year, you, you didn't have a Raspberry Pi? Yeah. You didn't have one in I July? Didn't, didn't. Last year. Last year. It's no, okay. Last year. <laughs> <laughs> so in July 2015, you didn't have a Raspberry Pi, and then in August, you got one. I got one, yeah. Wow. It was sort of the end. And now you've got 56 in your bedroom and 64 <laughs> screens. I've got, I've got um, four monitors, three Raspberry Pis, um, a desktop, a desktop that runs on Linux and Fedora, well, not quite yet, and then this as well. Yeah, hopefully, I'm sort of going to build a um, notebook soon. Wow. And, you, and a lot of this is required from videos online. Video, like vlogs. The Raspberry yeah. Pi guy, yeah. Matthew Tim's Brown, yeah. and all his tests. Amy Mather. Yeah. Amy Mather, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mini yeah. Duke, Duke girl. This is amazing. I'm just impressed, like, in just a matter of a few months, that how. Because some people are just like in awe of all the things that you've done, and they can't believe that in such a short space of time you've managed to do this. So if you want the microphone, it's there. Okay? Uh, uh, I've got three things now. Um, so, I'm Christmas, I bought um, a Skyrider hat. And um, I do like it quite a lot. Um, I've only really just got it. I only really got it on Saturday. But I have wanted one for a long time since I really got the Raspberry Pi. So I thought, because I like it so much, why don't I do a presentation on that? So apologies for it is very short. This is a Skyrider hat. You can use it in lots of different things. And I shall show you a little bit here. In the Skyrider hat is a hat that sold pipe by Pimerone, obviously not just, but I got it from there. And it recognises gestures and 3D movements in up to five centimetres above the hat. So these are the features. So it's electrical near field um, 3D and gesture sensing, a four layer PCB for the best sense of performance, this obviously improves it. The sensor is up to five centimetres away, which I've just said. Um, full 3D position data and gesture information, spikes and taps, so basically all different types of um, gesture, ge gestures, if I can talk. Uh, so you can use three fingers, two fi fingers, and that's fail. <laughs> and it comes fully assembled, so you don't need to do any soldering, um, like you do, say for example, when you buy the Pi Zero, um, it's unpopulated GPIOs, and you've got to solve them on and buy some more as well, unfortunately. Um, so my Pi Zero hasn't been soldered up yet because I haven't been bothered to, but I did only just get a solder in iron for Christmas. So can you get code for it? Yes, you can get code for it. Luckily, Pi Maroni have released um, a full library and I have used all the code on it. Um, and I'm currently using it as a mouse, which is very useful. Uh, because if you lose a mouse or you haven't got one, it's always brilliant to have. Um, so you just plug a mouse into the first, well, you don't even have to plug a mouse in, do you? You can just put it on the terminal, for example, if you've got Raspberry and Weezy. If you've got, um, Raspberry and Jesse, you'll have to set it up so um, the terminal will come up first and then it will act as a mouse. Um, what projects can you do? This is an example of a project. So when your finger moves, um, the um, sound, the audio, gets um, a louder, higher and higher pitch. I found this um, brilliant when I started working with the Pi. Because I thought, oh, this is the potential it can do. It's amazing. Um, and um, watching videos like this got me into the pie, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, just 
for little things. Um, you don't necessarily have to get the, um, this Skyrider hat to do stuff. You can have button inputs and LEDs like I've explained before. This was called the Tarot Room. And I think that's it. Has anyone got any questions? How much is it? Uh, it was sixteen pounds. I didn't even know what it was. I saw the sky red, but I never knew what it was until then. You, know, so. um, you can actually put in like fabrics over it as well, uh, so you can hide it in your project, which is always useful, isn't it? To be honest. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've seen a couple of projects that have done that, so that's good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Does it work enclosed within a case as well? Um, I think so. I think so. Um, it has got a list of materials on um, the primary <coughs> website as well. But um, the, dis the problem is it's only the distance of five centimetres. You can obviously get sensors that do go further away. Uh, so there's a bit of an issue with that. But for close, it is really useful. Do you get a depth map? Uh, no. Or is it just, you just get swiped? You just get swiped. You just get swiped. <laughs> so. Is that it? Yeah.